Welcome to one of the best Kobe Bryant stories that you've ever heard. As you know on this channel, we like to go through old interviews, podcasts, clips, and piece everything up together, finding the little stories and making it into one big story. This one of Kobe Bryant and Wilson Chandler is a gem. A lot of effort did get put into this video, so I really hope you do enjoy it. I don't want to keep you guys waiting. The one thing I'd love for you to do, if you do enjoy this video by the end of it, is help me out by hitting that like button. If you do enjoy it as well, and you think you would enjoy more, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And I don't want to keep you guys waiting, so without further ado, welcome to the day Kobe Bryant taught rookie Wilson Chandler a lesson and dropped 60 on him. When you first got to the league and you yeah. first started playing, who was the first person to bust your ass? I think it was when uh, Kobe had that 61. <laughs> like, I'm sitting here watching it and I'm like, yo, he's not stopping. It's a competition and my, my mission is to destroy you. When I came, not come, look, I would say coming into the league, I felt like I was an offensive scorer, right? You know, when yeah. you was in high school, coming, I was a scorer. But then you look at dudes like you. I want to know what is the mentality that when you get, all right, you got 20, you got 30. What makes in your mind, like, when you got 30, most people are like, all right, cool. Like, I'm going 40. Now I'm going 50. Now yeah. I'm going 60. Now I'm going, like, what is what is happening in your thought process when you do it? Because, like, at, at some point, I know you tired because because the people don't understand score yeah. buckets like that 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 take energy. Yeah. So how do you continue to just like go? Because I was in the, I was in New York when you got the sixty. Uh, the previous game, the Knicks have been tentative and apprehensive against these elite teams, but right now becoming a good home team. So the home cooking is giving them confidence, and they must continue to exude that confidence against the Lakers. Andrew Bynum, we just lost the game four. Yeah. He got an injury against Memphis, right? Yeah. So I'm like, we just lost to the Celtics in 08. We think we got Andrews, gonna make a big difference for us. Now he goes down, we don't know how long he's gonna be out for. The team was a little deflated. I was pissed off, <laughs> you know what I mean? Because yeah. it's like, no, we're winning the championship this year, come hella high water. And my guys were down. Yeah. And going into New York, big game, I said, all right, I gotta send a message to my guys and say, no, listen, we're doing this. Yeah. I understand it's hard, you went down, but damn it, we're getting it done. Yeah. So it was important to get into that mind frame of no, nothing matters, and I want to talk to nobody. I don't want to see no celebrities on the sideline. Don't dat me. Don't say hi to me. I don't care about none of y'all tonight. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you just focus. That was it. Was that also part of like you was coming into the garden and everybody loved to play well in Madison Square? Not Garden? that game. It didn't matter. No, that game. It was bigger than that. Like it was about us winning the championship. Like yeah. my guys were deflated. And it was like no, we're going. Yeah. We're getting it done. I understand yeah, injury it sucks but we got to keep on moving. And I had to find that space. I didn't go out to dinner in New York. I stayed in my room. Um, this is actually the story Rob told that, that he got confused about, the Heath Ledger stuff. I remember just a really quick story. There was one time when Kobe, who I worked with for 18 years, was going back to play in Madison Square Garden. And he had just seen The Dark Knight. Obviously, you guys saw that movie. And he's like, hey, hook me up with dinner with Heath Ledger because he got so locked into that role. I want to know how he mentally went there. And so we had dinner with Heath, and he talked about how he locks in for a role, and Kobe yeah. used some of that in his game Great. against the Knicks. Yeah. Because I stayed up watching Batman yeah. and right. watching Heath Ledger, and then I went and started researching about Heath Ledger and how he got into character and how yeah. he just became, became all-consuming. I was like, that inspired me to go into my garden mode. Where I go in there, I don't want to say hi to the Jan, I don't want to say hi to these people, I don't want to talk to nobody. What? Everybody leave me alone. <laughs> well, Chandler was a, he's a rookie then. That yeah. right there, that first year, like this is his first year coming in. Yeah, that shit was overwhelming. Yeah. It was, yeah, it was just so much shit going on at the town when I first got there, I'm like, damn. A movie? Yeah, it was a movie, yeah. Like, for real, from day to day, it was yeah. like, you know, with the newspapers, the media, it was just yeah. like, I, I, that's what I was saying, like for a young fella, it's like, yo, this is the league? This is the league. Right? Growing up, I never watched a lot of basketball outside with my grandma. But when Kobe started playing, when he got drafted, I would faithfully watch. I would watch all Kobe games. So that I kind of grew up like idolizing Kobe. So that's he's my he's my Michael Jordan. Like how people like 
had this nostalgic thing with Michael Jordan. That's what Kobe is to me. Crazy. That I remember mean, we started the game up and shit. So. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm coming off the bench at the time, so he killing. Him. As we get underway here at the garden. See the Laker bench is all standing, I guess, until they make a hoop. Kobe Bryant. And now they will take a seat. <laughs> right on cue. Lakers, the number one scoring team in the league. Kobe Bryant. To three, he's two for two. Kobe Bryant, three for three. Well, Bryant, like many of the elite players, whether it was Michael Jordan or LeBron James, and now with Kobe Bryant, they love to play at the Garden. All players will say that. Shot clock winding now. Bryant comes to the basket, and lays it in. I'm looking. I'm looking at Dan Tony. He looking down, kind of like this. I'm like, I don't want to go to the game today. <laughs> I slide down. He called me to go in. So when I go in, it's all good. I score like quick 10, 12 points. Chandler drives on one tough shot, puts it in. The fact that he's still putting up such good numbers on such a deep team as Chandler knocks it down. Chandler hits a three. And Chandler off the bench, three for three. He's got seven points. He slowed down. He scored about eight women again. So I'm like, oh, that's going good. Make sure your guy's there. Kobe held by Wilson Chandler. Watching film leading into the game, I knew Wilson. I knew he was just going to play sound defense. Wilson Chandler was a rookie then. And the fact that he went into detail about his habits, about his, you know, his his mannerisms on defense, his tendencies. Right. He wasn't going to gamble. Yeah. Right. He wasn't going to try to block a shot. He wasn't, you know, he's was going to try to play good position defense. So I knew I could get a good look. And all, I'm like, man, they have but so much film. Like, how you yeah. gonna tell me all this about Wilson Chandler and all this and that? But like, that that goes into like D Miles said it on the episode. He's like, you like Dexter when it comes to hoop, and like that was how he was. So from that standpoint, I said, all right, I just got to take my time, be on balance, knock him down. Chandler right up on him. Chandler blocked one of his shots earlier. Bryant fires and hits a three. Kobe Bryant on the offensive end for a shot. Sets himself, puts it up, puts it in. Kobe Bryant putting on a show here in the first half. But he's looking to score here in the first half. Pulls up again, knocks it down. By five, he's got Kobe on the wing, and Kobe flying home. Two-hander by seven. 27 for 24. Well, they're getting their money's worth. The crowd is cheering for Kobe in a big way. I thought we, <laughs> we were on the, didn't you say we were playing a road game? Like, I'm sitting here watching it and I'm like, yo, he's not stopping. The Lakers back up by seven. Bryant adjusts, puts it up, puts it in. Tough shot as Bryant floats in the air across the lane. 29 points in the first half. Bryant releases down the other end. Kobe Bryant now with 31. Bryant to the basket, count it, and a foul. Kobe Bryant with 33, and a chance for one more at the line. Here's the MVP chance again. The Nick fans trying to drown it out, but there are a lot of Laker fans. You can see the jerseys throughout the arena. <laughs> Second half come, third quarter, same thing. He scored about another eight points. He don't look like he want to stop. He yeah, still want to yeah. get 100 if he can. Like, a lot of guys, they go, they miss a few shots, and it's kind of, they're kind of like, take a step back, like, let me play the right way. Like, I'm taking too many shots, I ain't making them right now. Yeah. Now with Kobe, now with Kobe. <laughs> he, all, <laughs> he, he always, he always a kill mode. He always got the killer instinct at all times. Like, yeah. where does that mentality come from? Where well, you see most guys 30, 40, and they kind of chill out, like, all right, I got this. Yeah, no, I, I, I it's a competition. And my, my mission is to destroy you. It's, it's not, you know, I mean, like, I don't say, you know, like, we're playing, I'm, I'm not stopping at 30. Like, I'm, I'm gonna keep going until you figure out something else to do. Like, I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna keep going. On a fall away, the floater, off balance. Kobe, little up fake on David Lee. The fall away, it's his. A barometer is, Bryant gets inside, tough shot. Oh, he puts it in. What a shot from Bryant. He's got 42. Tim Thomas on Gasol. Bryant gets inside and banks it in. You know, and like that New York game, I knew D'Antoni's philosophies are never to double a guy that's hot because he always thinks they're going to cool off eventually. Yeah. Right. So I understood that. So once I got rolling, I knew that was going to be the case. He'll be in good shape, but Kobe says, we're not going to lose this one by one because I'm going to continue to be on fire. And that's what he is right now. Man, fourth quarter comes, I just go crazy. Ooh, that, <laughs> you got a part of that? Man, I got most of it in the crunch, man. It was like the last three minutes, he just go crazy. Just go like 16, 18 straight. I'm like, this, this shit's amazing. Kobe off the bench. Never stop, yeah. never stop. Throw trying to block the shot. Iron on Chandler. And fake draws the foul. Bryant for three. Draws the foul on Chandler. And this 
will make eight so far in the fourth for a total of 54. He is one shy of tying Michael Jordan record. Most points by an opponent here in the game. MVP chance once again. And Ryan has just tied Michael Jordan. Extraordinary performance. Ryan spins, puts it up. Puts it in. 59 for Kobe Bryant. They're one of the greatest individual performances ever here at Madison Square Garden. This man shooting for cash, Mark turning and looking at Spike, scowling at him. Wilson just running back. I'm just like, bro, this is not cool. Nah, that, was, that was one of those zone moments, man, where like things happen and it just led to that big moment. God bless my, my, my young boy, Wilson Chandler. He recovered. He is good. You know, everything is well with his life and his career. He's still playing now. So, you know, he made it through that. But like, I'm sitting here watching it and I'm like, yo. I was, I was like, yo, at, at some point when he catch the ball, you got to put him in the first row. Comes Chandler behind him. Chandler stays with him. Bryant foul. And he'll go back to the free throw line. Put him right in fucking <laughs> Spike Lee's lap. Spike over there <laughs> pumping him up. He talking. Like my boy ain't saying nothing. He just out there being a good young boy, going to play hard. Spike Lee over here getting them going, like, how are you gonna talk to this yeah. man when you ain't gotta check him? Yeah, I was on the bench him. furious, like, come on, dude. A new Garden record, Kobe Bryant, 61 points, most points ever scored here at Madison Square Garden. One of the greatest individual performances and the highest scoring game ever here at the Garden. You know, on top of the fact that it's an electrifying place, um, and I was a little PO'd because Big Drew went down, you know, and it was something I felt like this was a hump game where we had to have it. You know, we couldn't come out here and play so-so. We needed to get this game in order to make the rest of the trip a positive one. In my opinion, when it get down to, to, to just the killer mentality and the killer instinct, can't nobody get up in that room with Kobe and MJ. They belong in that room by their damn self. Right. They, can't, nobody come, can't nobody come up in there. Thanks, Kobe. This building opened in February of 1968. Every great player that since then's come through, you know, hold the scoring record in this building. How does it make you feel? Oh, I didn't know that. That, that, that. No, that's pretty awesome. The opponent record was Jordan. He had 55. The record was Bernard King at 60. You just passed them both. Wow, man, that's that's. Uh, I don't know what to say, man. That, that's that's awesome. It's a blessing. Like right. when you talk about the, the 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 set of what they bring to the table and how like. What I fight you, I I score sixty on you, I, you know what I'm saying? I lock right. you down like they by themselves. Yeah. And if you guys enjoyed this video, I'd really appreciate it if you guys could help me out by hitting that like button. If you did enjoy the video, be sure to hit that subscribe button if you want to watch more, just like this one. And here are two videos I think that you will also enjoy, so be sure to check them out. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.